since my eyeshadow palette collection videos did super well with tons of views, thank you so much and getting me um, a lot of new subscribers, I wanted to continue my collection with highlighters, which are another, like, one of my favorite makeup items, as you can tell. So these, and there's Pippa right there lying. Oh, sorry about my unmade bed, but I just figured this was a nice area to lay them all out on in a big pile and go through. Like I said before in my eyeshadows, this is not a declutter. This is just kind of showing you my collection for 2020. Um, this is not even all of the highlighters. I did not go through my untouchables drawer and pull out those. Um, because that would be too much work. <laughs> so these are pretty much the highlighters I use or try to use on a day-to-day -day basis. But yeah, a lot of these have been neglected and not gotten much use. So I am going to go through them and try to, you know, revive <laughs> some of the ones I completely forgot about and try to use more often now. So... Let's get started, and yes, I did want to make a little disclaimer. It's just so crazy what is going on right now in the world, and just very, um, yeah, sad, and it's just, I, I don't even know what to say about it. I work at the hospital here in our town. Luckily, we have not had any positive um, COVID cases here, but it is scary being pregnant and having to continue to go to work. But luckily, my department is completely separate from the main building, and we do not interact with patients. Um, so, yeah, that's um, at least a good thing. But, yeah, it's just uh, crazy what's happening, and hopefully we will get through this soon and things can go back to normal. And just want to show Pippa one more time because she is just a trooper. She had her first chemo treatment uh, yesterday uh, in Las Vegas. Um, well, it's her second round of chemo, but the first one, she was in remission for about eight months and it came back, but she is hanging in there and is going to do so well, we think. And yeah, we just are so happy that we are able to do this for her because of pet insurance basically so yeah you guys should look into getting pet insurance especially Trupanion because they pay really quickly and most of the bill so let's get started to the highlighters thanks so this is not going to be in any particular order I apologize if the lighting seems a little bit dim um it's kind of overcast today and I use uh natural lighting so yeah it's just gonna start going through this pile here this is my Natasha Denona Super Glow Highlighter in the shade 02 Light Medium. So it's a very blinding highlighter. Um, you probably hear me say that a lot because there's not really too many words you can use to describe highlighters. But yep, so that is the Natasha Denona Super Glow. I have this Stila palette. Um, this is the Starlight Star Bright, and it has three highlighters here. And these are the um, kind of bouncy, kind of cream to powder texture. So um, kind of a pinky highlight, and this is more like a champagne gold, and this is more of a darker bronze. So I really like this formula a lot. It's just like the coolest texture here. Let's see, I probably won't do too many swatches like in my... um eyeshadow video but just that texture is just super cool feeling very creamy but smooth and like I said it dries down to like a powder I have the benefit dandelion highlighter um, dandelion twinkle so I think that's a little bit different than the dandelion I'm not sure but it's just this highlight um you know it's kind of very um, I don't know. I always feel like it's not super blinding or anything, but then I don't know. Then I swatch it and then I'm like, oh, it's okay. It's a kind of, it's a very subtle, like, can you even see that there? It's a very subtle, light pink highlighter. If you just want something kind of for day to day, which I'm not that 
crazy about. I'd rather have something that's super like out there like that you can see. So this one I might actually sell on my Mercari. If, it, if I do decide to declutter anything or realize I'm not using it, um, I will list on my Mercari and you could check out my account if you want to purchase anything. This is ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in Butterfly Beach. I don't even know when's the last time I used this. Oh, it's still very, very creamy. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's kind of, ooh, it is kind of dark. Yeah. A little bit darker for my skin tone. Maybe if you, like, buff it out a little bit. It's a little bit, almost kind of like a, it could be more of a blush for me. Because it's so, like, kind of bronzy, rosy color. I have these two Nabla Skin Glazing Highlighters. These are fairly new to Ulta, and they're just gorgeous. This is the shade Privilege, which is kind of like a pale, or is this, no, this is more of the champagne color, champagne, kind of rosy gold. And this is the shade Ozone, which this is more of a pale, icier champagne color, but both are stunning. And I love this formula, so these are definitely staying. I think they're going to be on sale in the Ulta's 21 days of spring sale. So um, if you were eyeing those, I definitely recommend to pick one up. This is the Milk Makeup Highlighter in Lit. It's the Flex Highlighter. So this was like huge, I think, during the spring Sephora sale. Um, and it sold out really fast, but I was really glad to get my hands on it. And it's, ugh, look at that. That was just like a very light touch of my finger. And it's very nice champagne gold color. Here's an Ofra highlighter um, in their new packaging. This is the shade Retrograde. And it's kind of a split pan of, I can't remember if, I can't remember. It's two of their existing shades already that they just combined and made into Retrograde. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really pretty. It's probably, can mix both of them or just do one or the other. I don't really wear like lilac lavender shades but I think if it was mixed it would make a nice like kind of pinky highlight this is the cover effect cover fx highlighter palette um I haven't used this in forever but it has these highlight shades and then kind of a blush and some kind of bronzer glowy bronzers over here mm. I think for now I'll hold on to this, but yeah, I haven't pulled it out in a while, so I probably should use that. Here is the Lime Crime Opals highlight. So you get these kind of iridescent shades, a pink and like a yellow and a peachy color. So they're supposed to be like kind of shifty, duochrome type highlights. Let me show this watch a couple. Yeah, so you could kind of see the shift there. These are pretty, a little bit softer, powdery. I have this Bobbi Brown highlight palette. Um, this is Bobbi to Glow Highlighting Trio, Nectar Glow, Pink Gold Glow, and Golden Bronze Glow, which um, was good because I almost bought Nectar Glow separately and then I held off, which I'm glad because I just happened to come across this palette that I forgot about and saw that I already had it. So I think it's one of their holiday ones a couple years ago, but yeah, those three, they're pretty huge pans. I have this Bobbi Brown highlight in Opal Glow, so just a pretty pinky kind of highlight there. I have the Flower Beauty. Highlight palette in Shimmer and Strobe. And this is one of my favorite Flower Beauty products. Um, yeah, the... It's very soft. Uh, the powder is just super blinding and affordable for drugstore prices. I have these Kaleidos 
um, highlighters. I just love the packaging and thought the concept was so cute. So when they released, um, it's an indie brand from China. When they released, uh, I just bought all of them. So it has these, they're very, um, kind of glittery, kind of out there shades, um, that I probably wouldn't necessarily wear as a highlighter, like that gold green color. No, but definitely as an eyeshadow. So I think, um, I just wanted all of them because the collectionist in me wanted to get them all in this cute packaging. Sorry, I'm not reading the names of all of these off. Just showing them because there's so much to get through. And this is the last one. So six of those. I have this Tom Ford duo in Mood Light. So it has kind of a white highlight and a more gold bronzy kind of color. I haven't even touched this yet. It's, I mean, it's so expensive, so I know you definitely shouldn't let it go to waste, but I just love the pattern and uh, I don't know. It just it takes me a while, okay, <laughs> to finally bring myself to, to use it. Here is another ColourPop pressed highlighter in Bougie Call. That one there. Oh, here's another Nobla highlighter before they came out with those skin glazing ones that I bought off their website. It's Obsexed. So this is kind of like a peachy highlight there. I have a Physician's Formula highlighter in Pearl. So it's very kind of white highlighter. And it smells like coconut, which... I don't mind. I, I just don't like the taste of coconut. But yeah, that one. I have this Victoria Beckham highlight from her first collab with Estee Lauder before she released her own um, brand by herself, which is Modern Mercury. Ugh. Just look at that. It's gorgeous. I feel like I use this, but it doesn't look used, so I don't know. Can't remember. Here is a Pure Cosmetics palette, um, Sparkle and Shine. Just got it, I think, because it was cheap and the packaging was really cute. And yeah, I don't think I've even used them. So I don't know, maybe I'll sell that because it's just going to waste in my collection. I have this Laura Geller highlight um, in Peach Glow Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator. I have another one of these in champagne, oh, charming pink. Oh, it's super pretty there. I have these mini Jouer highlighters that came um, in a Beautylish Lucky bag, I think two years ago. Uh, a little set here. This one is, I can't read it, rose gold. This one is ice. And this one is skinny dip. I think there was a fourth one. Um, I don't know if it either cracked during shipment or if I sold it. I can't remember. Uh, oh, this Lancome Globe Subtil Highlighter in Rose Gold Lights. This is kind of also like the... Stila ones where it's kind of like a creamy cream to powder finish and it's just gorgeous and it has this like Shift to it. Ugh. It's a little kind of dark <laughs> Again for my skin tone, but I just love that formula. It's so pretty I don't know I go in waves of like highlighters that I think will work for me and then come to find out that they don't really but I also go through waves where my tan where my skin can be really tan and then I can be really pale too so <laughs> so it comes and goes here is a Tarte highlighter in Stunner pretty shade there and then I have all these little Becca 
um, what are they called? Light chaser highlighters. So it's like a shade that flashes kind of another shade. So this is Rose Quartz Flashes sea Seashell. Some of them are a little weird. Um, Opal Flashes Jade. So kind of like a kind of green shift there, I guess, when it hits the light. Topaz Flashes Gilt. So a little bit gold, yellow gold. And Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini. So kind of a peach there. I think they were on sale at Sephora, so I got all of them, I think. <laughs> I have this little Becca Mini that came in a set. Um, it's just so cute. I love the little pink case there. Rose Glow. Pretty. I have this little Lila B cream highlighter in Be Dazzling. It came in a set as well with the lip product. I don't think I've even used this. But yeah, a little cream highlight there. And I love the packaging of these little ceramic stones. They're just so pretty and precious. Here is a Pat McGrath highlight. It came out a very long time ago. Iridescent Pink 003. So when it catches the light, you could definitely see the pink in it. That I probably will sell. I have this MAC high, Extra Dimension. Yeah, oh, it's a blush, but I think it's more of a highlight. Uh, fairly Precious. It was very peachy. Yeah, kind of a peachy highlight there. I love their extra dimension finishes and blushes and the highlights. They're just so blinding. Here is a luxury brand, Westman Atelier. It's sold at Barney's, but now Barney's is no longer their own website. Or maybe it was Bergdorf. I can't remember. But either way, Barney's is now part of Saks. But I love this compact this matte black and this is poo de pish i think i got this one on sale it looks super dark but i don't think it really is um but i got this on sale when they were shutting down their stores i have this laura mercier palette um it has like the zebra prints and this is the Exot this is the exotique collection. I think it was the holiday one from two, three years ago. So four of their pans. Um some of them are existing shades already. Uh infatuation, indiscretion, temptation, and devotion. And some of them I think were new, but I can't tell you which ones I don't remember. I have this Becca highlighter palette in Apres Ski Glow Face palette. Yep. I love the packaging. So wintry. And Becca highlighters are some of my favorite highlighters. I just think they're just super blinding and just melt into the skin beautifully. I just love their formula. You'll see a lot of Becca highlighters coming up. <laughs> I have this Jeffree Star Cosmetics 24 Karat Skin Frost Pro Palette. I haven't even touched this yet. Um, but yeah. I mean, some of them are a little bit too dark. But I think they could be used as eyeshadows. Or these two down here could be blushes. But yeah, his formula is super, super blinding as well. So I have the Brain Freeze one as well. This one I just got. Um... A couple of out there shades, but like I said, you could use them as eyeshadows or blush toppers. I got that one. And I have another one. What is it? The Northern Lights palette. Which are the, these are the Extreme Frost, I believe, but... Have the new formula a little bit a little bit more glittery i think on the new formula here but i haven't used the palette yet oh the supreme frost sorry and then i have a ton of his single highlighters this is the eclipse for skin frost with manny mua i just love the imprint so i never used it here is i think the other shade they released uranus 
open it. Yeah. So that one there. And Peach Goddess, one of his original shades. I sold a bunch last year because I was like collecting a bunch of them. And I realized I wasn't really using them. Like the mint and the purple. I think actually I still have the purple. This is Princess Cut. Yeah, Lavender Snow. So I kept this one because uh, it's so gorgeous, this pretty purple shade. And I figured I could use it as an eyeshadow even though I haven't. And then I have one of his um, new Supreme Frost in Wet Dream. So that shade there. Um, I have a couple more of these, but they're kind of out there shades that I use for eyeshadow, so I'm not including it in highlighters. I have these hard candy palettes that I hunted down for in Walmart, and I couldn't decide. They're powder on top and then cream on bottom. I couldn't decide about which ones I wanted. Um, they just look so pretty, so I got all three of them. This is, I don't know. Struck by Light, I guess, the purpley one. And then I have <clears throat> Glowing by Night, the blue one. Some powder got into the cream. They're so pretty, even though I haven't used them. And then the last one is Kissed by the Sun, just like bronzy tones. I probably should sell some of these. I don't know which one though. I can't decide. I like having all three but then I know it's ridiculous so. <laughs> this Hourglass um, highlighting ambient strobe light or ambient palette metallic strobe lighting palette. <laughs> Absolute strobe light, pure strobe light, lucent strobe light and these this was holiday two years ago i think and they're just these are beautiful they're so stunning i usually don't tend to get the holiday palettes because i just think they're so pricey but that one i'm so happy i did purchase <clears throat> some fenty highlighters this one is sandcastle and minted mojito so the split pans beautiful you could use that kind of as an eyeshadow and then this one is Mean Money Hustla Baby. I actually got, I think, like the majority of them when they first came out. So I have a few more because I just couldn't decide. Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. So this is kind of more of a peachy shade. Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal there and the metal moon just like this white shade um that i haven't even touched this one yeah i think i'll sell that one since i haven't even touched it and it's probably way too white i have these wet and wild highlighters this one's precious petals i sold a couple of them too before that i just wasn't using Kind of another one of those shades that might be a tad too dark for me. And then this one is Blossom Glow. So this one is a little bit better for my skin tone right now. Oh, it's a little bit lighter. Hmm. I don't know. This formula is really nice. I sold a bunch though. I have the e.l.f. and um, Heart Defensor collab that they released. Coffee, is it? Yeah, Coffee and Cream. So this duo here. <clears throat> I have the Dior Quad highlighters. This is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. And I think this was the second one. Yeah, the Glitter Strobe Gold, Glitter Strobe Pink Gold, Peach and Bronze. I haven't even used this one yet, but I was told not as many people like this as the first one, which I also have next. Um, they found it a little bit too glittery which I don't know, but I love this one. This is the first one that they released. Yeah, so this one is gorgeous. So we'll see how the second one goes, compares to that. I have this Wet n Wild highlight in um, To Reflect. No, I'll have a Cosmo, <laughs> it's called. It's kind of the swirl. It's just, this one is gorgeous. 
I thought about decluttering it, but then I was like, I swatched it, and it's just like this. Uh, sorry, can't really see the highlights, but it's just this gorgeous pinky glow there. I have this Give Me Glow Cosmetics Transcendent. Uh, I love Give Me Glow Cosmetics. They are seriously one of my favorite indie brands. Look at that. Their eyeshadow palettes are amazing. And that is Transcendent. Definitely a peach rose gold color. It's probably a little bit too dark for me. <laughs> but that doesn't stop me. I have a Tom Ford, which one? Sheer Highlighting Duo and Reflex Guilt. It was pretty. Duo there. I have that Urban Decay Afterglow palette. Beauty with an Edge, I don't see. Oh, there's the names. I think I got this because it was super on sale, but I haven't even used it. Huh. Nope. Yeah, I don't know. Should I sell this? Yeah, I haven't touched it, so I think I will just sell that one. I have these Marc Jacobs huge highlighters. This one is worth the wait that came out, I think, last year. I don't know, but it's stunning champagne shade there i love that one so when the second one came out later in this beautiful sparkly packaging showstopper i couldn't wait to get this one and i hate this one this one i can't stand <laughs> it is i don't know like on the swatch you probably can't tell but when i applied it to the face it's just like glitter just look like glitter on my face. No other color or anything. And yeah, you can like see it on the swatch up close. But it's pretty much just glitter. And it's on sale right now, which I am not surprised when I paid like full price for it. So I'm really pissed. <laughs> um, yeah, that one. No, no, I'll probably sell if I could get anything for it. We'll see. I have this Illamasqua highlighter in... Um, Deity, just really pretty kind of pink shift, pink, yellow, more of a yellow gold shift there. I have this MAC Hyper Real Glow palette, oh. have these pretty shades there, this one I'll hold on to, I like the highlighters. I have this NARS Bonk de Sable palette, the orange, there's these three, that one's a little dark, but I actually have used it, oh, sorry, used it more towards like a bronzer, um, Rivage, Sole, and Embruns are the shades of those three, and then this was the one that was released two years ago, last year, I don't even remember, I'm losing track, high voltage, but I just love the studs packaging and those three and you get 1977 Fort de France and Queen. I already have Fort de France in a single but I just love the packaging too much. I just had to get it. Yep, yeah, here it is. It's a single. I don't want to sell this one even though I have it in the palette. E I don't know, I just love it, but I don't reach for it too often. No, I'm keeping it for now. I can't. I just can't. I know. This is my little pony ColourPop collab in uh I don't have the name. Stupid. But it's like this purpley pink shade. I just got it for the packaging because I used to be obsessed with my little pony. And then I have two of the Villains highlighters. This is the Evil Queen. That is a very gold shade. I pretty much got this just for the packaging. Yeah, because the next one is Ursula. I love the Little Mermaid. And that is another purple shade, so yeah. 
This melts highlighter in Morning Star. It's pretty white gold. Kind of shifts pink and peach in the light. This Dior highlighter in zero one. Oops. Plastic thing. Pretty. I haven't ruined it yet. But usually if I have them in my everyday drawers, it's because I do plan to use them, like but like I said, it can take me a while to eventually jump in and destroy <laughs> the pattern. Here's a Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter Sparkling Pesh. These are stunning. I feel like this is a little bit too dark for me now, but oh my gosh, look at that. I think I should get the lighter shade. I think it's called Buff, but they are pricey. But sometimes you can find them on Ulta when they go on sale, so be on the lookout for that. Here is the Too Faced. Oh, I wish I waited for this. It's the Hyper Reflective Highlighting Palette Vanilla Strawberry Chocolate for the ice cream. I just think the packaging is super cute. Um, so I jumped on it pretty quickly after it released. And then it goes on sale like pretty soon after because not many people liked it. It's very glittery. Um, but like I said, I got it for the packaging, but I should have waited till it went on sale. The Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. Um, so I think this one's cream and then the rest are powder. Um, yeah, I mean, they're not anything special. I had another one of hers. I think the more the Winter Solstice one. And I sold that one. So... I don't know, maybe I'll sell this one too. I don't reach for it. Yeah, I'm gonna sell that one. I don't reach for it, even though it's nice. The Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. I love this palette. And then they just re-released it again because it was very popular. Um, but yeah, I barely used mine because I thought it was gonna be limited edition and I didn't want to destroy it but now it's back out so if you've missed out I would get it I like it a lot part of me like was really thinking of getting it again for a backup but then I was like no way too many <laughs> palettes going on right now you don't need a backup <laughs> and then I have this Anastasia glow kit <laughs> in sugar so it has marshmallow gum drops butterscotch starburst and those pans they're pretty Those are the only glow kits I have by Anastasia. I'm surprised I didn't collect them all. I have this Pure Highlight Palette that I just got, I think, on their website. Super affordable. Very pretty. Pans there. I got the Jaclyn Hill, the Flash Palette. I was willing to give her another chance. And it is a really pretty packaging palette there. I haven't tried them yet, so I will soon. <clears throat> and this by Terry Apricot Glow. So I think you could use this as a subtle highlighter or kind of all over face powder. Kind of could do one or the other of the shades or mix them. And this Bobbi Brown. I like the packaging on this one. Moon Glow. It's a very yellow gold. <clears throat> of course, the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. This is super blinding. I really like this highlighter, even though I think the brush is a waste of space. <laughs> I just got this Lorac Highlighter in Celestial. It was on sale at Ulta, so it's a pretty gold. I have this little Ofra Mini in Pillow Talk, but it did crumble a little during my trip to Sephora, but luckily not the whole thing shattered because they are very soft highlighters. I have these Too Faced highlighters, um, the Love Light highlighters, Blinded by the Light. I just love the packaging. Anything heart-shaped just gets me. 
<clears throat> and this is Ray of Light, so it's a little bit peachier, rose gold color. And the Persona Cosmetics Highlighter in Zuma Cali Glow. There. Um, this one by NYX in Powdered Sugar. I saw Terra Baby swatch this and it just looked gorgeous. And then I got it and I wasn't that pleased with it. But let me see. I mean, it's okay. But it just looked stunning on her swatch. I don't know. She... She convinced me. Then the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in... I don't show a shade. 250. There. The Chanel Highlighter. I have used it or I have swatched it. Oh, it's like... A very strong pink shift not the best for Chanel but I don't know I couldn't help but want to try it what's this one called white opal of course I have the Estee Lauder heat wave that they keep releasing in different packaging I think this was the second year's packaging I don't remember heat wave I have a single of the Stila highlighter in opalescence that was not part of that um, palette it's very white very white and icy I got it on sale from Ulta but I don't really feel like that suits my skin tone huh and this um, Jouer Highlighter Molten Glow that came with I don't know if it was a lip topper or some, some other set <laughs> but it's gorgeous look at that Oof. okay still, still got a little bit to go <laughs> Pixie by Petra Highlighter Subtle Sunrise Got this from Anthro. And I have these Ciate London ones. I just love the packaging and the imprint. This is Moon Dust. These, all those stars are just too pretty. Solstice. Pretty pink shift. And Starburst. There. This Milani highlighter in. Zero one afterglow. There. A Rouge Bunny Rouge highlight. This was a brand in um, Bloomingdale's. This is sweet to touch, but it looks super dark. I haven't used it, so I can't tell you for sure. The Too Faced Candlelight Glow. Duo Split Pan. YSL Couture Highlight. I haven't even used that one yet. Forgot I had it actually. The Flush Highlight and Jump. Alright. I don't think this brand is doing too well on Ulta, especially with a name like that Flush. My Charlotte Tilbury palette, Bar of Gold palette. I had the single in the original Bar of Gold, but then when she released the palette, got the palette, and sold the single. Oh, another Tom Ford. Gilt Glow. Oh yeah, so this is the single here. Yellow gold, white gold. Another Chanel in ivory gold. Hmm. I don't know if I've used that one. It looks like I swatched it. Let's see. Ooh. That one's pretty. See that one on the left there? 
bring that out one, that one out more. And then another Dior one in 06. This one is a pretty duochrome kind of shift. I did swatch it, okay. It's very duochrome-y. <clears throat> and white, I think I just got it just because it was so different, even though it was not very suitable for my skin tone. I have this MAC Extra Dimension one in Beaming Blush. There. Another Ofra one in Rodeo Drive, the old packaging there. And then a ton of Becca ones. This is Prismatic Amethyst. Lilac Geode. Just like wanted to collect all the compacts too. Besides having this is one of my favorite formulas. This one is Rose Quartz. Vanilla Quartz. Opal. Smoky Quartz. <laughs> And golden mint. So those are all my pretty much pressed powder ones. And I have a couple of loose highlighters. This is a Rouge Bunny Rouge one and Sea of Illumination. No, Sea of Showers. Oh, it's still sealed. I haven't even used that. I think it's a liquid. Yeah. This um, Makeup Forever Starlit Powder in Iridescent Pearl. I love this powder. It's a little dark, but when you blend it out, it's just a beautiful shine. And then I have the Juvia's Place Loose Powder in Clio. Just find them a little messy. And then the Anastasia loose powder in Vegas loose highlighter. And then last are all my cream and liquid highlighters. Oh wait, I forgot one. It's the PYT Beauty in Backstage Pass. This was on my vanity there. No BS means no bad stuff. I think it can also work for no bullshit. Um, so that was, yeah, the last one. So now my cream and liquid highlighters. I had this Tom Ford Shimmer Shake. Is that what they were called? Shimmer Shot. And this is Spin Spin Sugar. So it's just a nice little highlighter. I have this ColourPop Stick in Star Bright. I don't know. I feel like when I use this, it's very glittery. I mean, it's super shiny, but... Hmm. It just looks like glitter when it's on my face. This Marc Jacobs Do Glow Drops in Do You. So it's the original shade before they released a little bit darker version. The Anastasia Liquid Glow in Perla. This is a pretty highlight. The Nude Sticks uh, Cream Highlighter in Illuminati. So it's kind of like a white with a duochrome finish. Can't really see it on there. This is a Peter Thomas Roth 24K Gold Prism Cream. So kind of like a highlighter or illuminator face primer yeah kind of I think you could really just use that more to blend with foundation or something first Tristique <laughs> sorry Pippa snoring Tristique uh, highlighting stick in Maldives luminescent very pretty 
uh, one of my very first highlighters ever, Benefit What's Up Cream. It's just so pretty. I couldn't declutter this. There. This little Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Cream. I probably can declutter this. I don't think I've used it. Yeah, the pump has not even been used. I have this Alginist liquid highlighter, concentrated luminizing drops. So this came out, I think, shortly after the Cover FX ones because those were so popular. And this is a really pretty highlight too. This is in Pearl. The Wander Beauty highlighter stick. It doesn't, what does it say? Catch the Light Highlighter in Sun. Sorry, it looks very similar to the Benefit one. Yeah, let's see if anybody wants that. I just got this Fat Flower Beauty one in Day Glow, which is a cream highlighter. So, plan to use that one. This one I love from Too Faced, You're So Jelly. I was kind of intrigued by it because it's like a jelly consistency, but you only need a little bit, like little tap there. And I just love the packaging. It looks like gummy bears, which I love gummy bears. Right down there. And it smells super fruity and candy-like too. I have the Sol de Janeiro. This is like a body glow oil in Rio Sunset, so kind of not like a face highlighter, but body one. The Anastasia, or no, I'm sorry, the Hourglass Vanish highlighter in Champagne Flash. Kind of bulky packaging, but it is a really pretty cream highlighter. I have this Kiko Milano highlighter in the candy split highlighter kind of like a swirl Ooh, very creamy that's kind of like a peachy pink shift I have this little mini Kyer Weiss highlighter cream highlighter that came with a gift with purchase I haven't even used that yet, but the pan is like loose in there, so I've got to be careful. Maybe I'll sell that one. I have the Too Faced Cream Highlighter and Peach Frost. I hmm. wonder if it's drying out. You can't really see it. Uh, the Chantecai. Liquid Lumiere in Brilliance. This is a really pretty highlight. I squeeze so much, it's very pretty. <laughs> and this little baby Cover FX glitter drops that came in, I don't know, like a gift with purchase. So I'll probably just sell that. And then these Cover FX drops um, that are just beautiful and super metallic. This one is in Sunlight. I mean, they're old news now. Nobody talks about them really anymore. Moonlight and Sunkiss. This one is more kind of a bronzer, but I love those and they were pretty expensive. So yeah, that is my entire highlighter collection. Can't even tell you how many there are and I don't feel like counting. So anyway, if you are interested in any of them, um, the ones over here to the left are probably ones I am going to list on my Mercari. And you can find the link in my channel description as well as, um, yeah, they don't let you search by user. So that kind of sucks. But hopefully uh, you can find my page through the link. If not, just message me and I can uh, let you know what I have listed so you can kind of search for it and then follow me on there. But thank you guys so much for watching. I do plan to do, you know, like I said, my whole collection. Um, I might do foundations, setting powders, setting sprays next because I don't have too many of those. So those might all be combined in one. Bye, guys. Stay safe.